if you want to see my thoughts on the new Too Faced Born This Way collection, then keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'll be reviewing the new Too Faced Born This Way collection. I'll be showing you a demo of me putting the product on. I'll show you my thoughts. We'll break down value for money, all the good stuff. But first, we'll do a quick lowdown. So Too Faced is a vegan and cruelty free brand. This is the foundation, the Born This Way foundation. And this is the packaging. It comes in gorgeous pink box with the name, the coverage amount and the claims all on the box and the ingredients on the back. This is the product. Gorgeous. Now, a lot of you, this isn't new, you've probably seen this. They collaborated with Jackie Aina and added nine deeper shades and in-between shades that were missing and also two lighter shades. So the whole collection is now 35 shades, which is fantastic. That's what we like to see. They recognised there was a deficit and they fixed it. Comes with a pump. It has hyaluronic acid, rose alpine and coconut water. Hyaluronic acid is a skincare ingredient that usually helps with regenerating your skin and complexion. So that's in there. It says it's an oil-free foundation and it's medium to full coverage. Next, we have the concealer. This one they've overhauled completely as well and they've made the packaging quite similar to the, the foundation. So this is the box. It also comes in the, says Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and it is gorgeous. It also has the same ingredients as the foundation. This is the prep packaging. It is gorgeous. It is massive. And there are 20 shades of concealer. So lastly, we have the powder. We have the ethereal setting powder. This is the box. It also comes in. There are three shades for this one. Translucent, translucent medium and translucent deep. And they're all quite in harmony with each other. Powder also has hyaluronic acid and coconut water as well. And you can buy this if you're here in Australia. You can get this at your Mecca in Maya or Mecca Maxima and Mecca online, of course. And then if you're in the States, you can get this at your Sephora or Ulta, both in store and online, whoever stocks Too Faced. If you're in the UK, you can get it from Cult Beauty. You can get it from Selfridges and Debenhams. And Selfridges also ships internationally for other customers in different countries as well. Okay, so my skin's all prepped back fresh face as you can see i have quite a few acne scars and hyperpigmentation so with my usual routine i always correct and i either use a specific corrector or i'm going to be using the makeup forever primer correcting primer in shade caramel so my face is all corrected i'm going to jump straight into the foundation now so this so this isn't the first time i'm using this foundation when i bought it i actually had a bit of trouble or not trouble but i I thought I was between two shades, so I ended up figuring out that I think I'm pretty much chai. So that's one pump. So I'm going to dot that around my face and we're going to build up the products. I like using this Colourpop brush, this flat foundation brush to dot product. Because it's not too dense, I find that it doesn't absorb too much of the product. So I've got my Zoeva 104 buffer brush, it's just a flat kabuki, so I'm just going to buff that in. So this is, this is a pump. So Chai is one of the new shades that Jackie Ina created in her um, shade in her shade extension. That's a pump. That's actually quite nice for just one pump of coverage. Because usually when they say one to two pumps, I'm like, yeah, no, nah. <laughs> one pump may cover this big old face. So now I'm going to take another pump. The fragrance isn't really. I would say fragrance is a strong thing in this, which is nice. But the third pump. The foundation does feel really nice, really natural. I do quite like the finish. I don't look overly dewy, but I'm not completely matte either. If you would be okay with this, three pumps, for some of you this might be more than enough. Um, I'm just going to put a tiny, just give a tiny, tiny bit more. So I didn't fully, fully press it, I'm just going to put a tiny bit more and I just want to dot it over my cheek area here. Do you think guys? I really like it. Alright, so I've done that, so now I'm going to jump into the concealer and this is what it looks like, the multi-use sculpting concealer and this one I believe comes with a doe foot applicator. I am shade Maple 
and this one they switched up as well because the concealer that was in this range was different the packaging all looks the same and I was buying it in the store I did a quick comparison to Armande from NARS the creamy concealer that I use so on the top is the NARS Armande and on the bottom is Too Faced Maple oh wow it picks up heaps of product though I like the colour already! I really like this. I find that dough really, really easy to use actually and the stopper doesn't get in the way at all because I was still able to scoop product but I think they've worked out a really good situation here. This is nice. I like the colour I've gone for. I like the formula. I like the applicator. When I use the Beauty Blender with some concealers like the NARS one, it starts to get a bit streaky. This one I appreciate that it's not sort of separated as I'm blending it. Regardless of what concealer I use, I get creases because I've got a few creases on my under eyes as normal as usual. So that's not something I'm expecting the concealer to, to magically stop doing. Lastly, I have, I'm really excited for this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to pick this one up, but this is the Ethereal Setting Powder and I got Translucent Medium. I really like the, I'll show you guys, I really like the packaging on this one. I love that it's it's basically mess free. It's got the cap and it's got a sifter as well, but it's also got like a lid on the sifter. There's a little lever, you pull that. You can travel with this and you won't stress that you're gonna get powder everywhere when you open, you know, if they don't, they have sifters and you just open it, it's just powder everywhere. How cute, it's got like a little heart. I'm actually going to pour, pour it in the lid this under my eyes I was going to pick up the deep shade but that looks too red to set the rest of my face with so I skipped it so I'll just use my usual translucent setting powder so that's what the translucent medium looks like so it's a bit lighter than for example Ben Nye Topaz that's what it looks like my beauty blender Powder brush that I have here, my Real Techniques powder brush. I'm just gonna flick that. I really like. I feel like it's really brightened. It's brightened my eyes and set everything in place. I like. I like. What we'll do is we'll set um, half our face with my usual RCMA translucent powder. We we'll check in and see how long what it looks like after X amount of time, and it takes. I'll come back to you guys with. Alright, so this is the finished look guys. Let me know what you thought down below. I've done the rest of my face. So this side of my face is what we set with my normal powder and this side we've left unset. So we'll hopefully see how we go through the rest of the day and then we'll check back in. So some claims from the brand with the foundation. They say it is oil free medium to full coverage they guarantee 12 hours of wear so they say it's long wearing they say it's a natural finish and there's no flashback so with the concealer they say it is also oil free it is hydrating and light lightweight they claim it to have maximum coverage they also claim it to be 12 hours guaranteed for 12 hours of wear so quite long lasting and there are four main things they say you can do with it they say you can conceal contour highlight and retouch which you can pretty much do with all concealers anyway claims that there is no flashback with the concealer as well with the powder they claim it to be a natural finish they say it boosts radiance and brightens the complexion they claim it to have no flashback long wearing and they also say that their shades are universally flattering so it's 30 mils stock standard amount for the foundation retails for 57 australian dollars or 39 us dollars cost per mil works out to be about a dollar 90 or australian or one dollar 30 us which is in line with other products of this amount and about price range shelf life they guarantee it for 12 months which is standard for foundation and it is made in canada which is interesting Compar comparing it with other foundations in the same range, Too Faced again is a mid-range brand. Fenty Beauty with their Pro Filter foundation, 32 mils. 
this retails for 50 bang on 50 australian dollars here so cost per meal is a little bit better because you're getting a bit more so it comes to the pump too that one is more or is, is about same coverage level if not more full coverage foundation that one d has the locket foundation which is full coverage so not medium but full it's a lot thicker it also comes with a pump and there are there are 30 shades so a few less but that was straight for off the bat and that one is cheaper it's 49 australian dollars so cost per meal is going to be a lot a lot better than a lot better compared to this one and then lastly we have mac mac is another mid-range brand one of the ogs there is studio fix fluid which is pretty standard that's 50 mils as well that one retails for 54 australian dollars that one is a little bit more than the others but still a little bit cheaper than this that one doesn't come with a pump if you do where to buy the pump or you would have to add that then it works out about the same if not a dollar more and cost per meal is a tiny bit tiny bit better studio fix also has over 30 shades and they recently just expanded added more in between shades in line with other foundations in the same range i'd say it's priced well it is a tiny bit on the pricier side considering you're getting the stock standard you're getting other foundations that have a lot more coverage so this one retails for 40 42 australian dollars or 29 us dollars they are quite generous with the 15 mils so cost per meal is about two dollars 80 per meal australian or a dollar 93 which is really good bang for your buck for example the nars radiant creamy this one is this about the same i think this one's 40 this one's 42 but then this one only has six mils this one has more than double that amount so i think that's why this is priced there you're getting a lot more for a concealer i reckon with how thick it is you could probably use this as a foundation in itself shelf life is 12 months that stock standard for concealer lastly the setting powder this one retails for 46 australian or 33 us dollars it has 17 grams guaranteed for 12 months cost per gram is $2.71 australian or $1.94 us so that works out to be which is really good really generous i think for a powder most powders in this range don't give you as much and cost the same so you just have to I really like the foundation i like the way it looks i like the way it has set and it is really nice lightweight natural finish i like that i could build i enjoyed that i could build up to the coverage level that i wanted you guys would have seen that the concealer i'm really a fan of the one i was using previously was the nars one and you know even though this is a nars video i'm not really that much of a fan i don't get the hype with that one this one is not streaky there's pigment there it disperses enough i love the doe for applicator it's big it's chunky i love the amount of concealer they're giving us i think this will for me which i can see this definitely fitting into my routine as my everyday kind of foundation and concealer even as well or well, even the concealer like for glam but i can definitely see the foundation something i would use every day the powder i quite like under my eyes i was using bed night topaz before that was really really yellowy orangey and that also gives a bit of flashback to the powder i think i'm definitely chucking it into my rotation to be used under my eyes i really like it comment below what do you think of the color match as well i quite i quite like it i think it, it looks good so i'm giving it two thumbs up it is a yay from me i really enjoyed the product i love the finish we'll see how well it holds up to claims but for me definitely a yay definitely going to be part of my routine in the future as well everyday basis quickly touch upon the shade range expansion i will say that when they brought the foundations out initially there were a lot of gaps in there especially on the deeper side of the spectrum there were a lot of shades where they really jumped they jumped shade but i'm really 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 happy that they brought somebody on and i love jackie under as well and i'm happy that they brought they recognize that and you know a lot of people will say it's too late but better late than never and i'm happy that they recognized there was a deficit in their collection they realized that they needed help and they brought somebody in to help and i love that now even though they have added nine deeper shades and they've also added two fairer shades too because i know people on the lighter side of the spectrum struggle too and i'm happy that that they've done that now even though they have i know that there are some people who still haven't found their foundation shades. so it just goes to show how diverse skin is how diverse skin tones are how diverse deep skin tones are and a lot of people don't take the time or the effort to really go into that deeper and to really come out with a product now i really wish seriously 
kudos to them, points up, credit to you, Too Faced, for doing that. I'm really happy that you recognized that and you did it. You, you saw a problem, you fixed it, and you've made so many more customers of the brand, of the product, and so many more people can be included and join in. That's all we want. You know, it's it's just makeup, but it's inclusion. To make art, to see the foundations sitting on the display there, and to not see the darkest shade being gold and beige or honey, it's honestly, it means so much, guys. You know, with my shade, Sometimes I don't necessarily struggle, but I know that a lot of people who are deeper than me and people who are in between shades, they would have found a shade as well. So I'm really, really happy with that. I wish now that brands who are wanting to bring out foundations now consider proportions, consider bringing out a whole conducive shade range. First of all, you know, it's great that we're fixing things. Can we please not be an afterthought? Can we actually come out with the full range together. I know that it's not cheap to come out with foundation. I know it's not cheap by any means. It's expensive business, but I wish that we would just sit down, brainstorm, bring all the help you need in, do this, boom, release the whole foundation. If it takes you another six months or another year, I'd rather that and you come out with an inclusive product range that like coming out with prematurely promoting your product just so you can get another product out there. We're having Product overwhelm, consumers are overwhelmed, too many products coming out and it's too much. Take your time, release something. When the public, when consumers have seen you've taken your time with something and you've really invested, you're going to see results. One eternity later. All right guys, so I'm back. I've had this foundation on for just over nine hours, about nine and a half hours I've had it on for. So as you can see, I'm a global, I am shiny. This side was the side that I set with powder, but I think my face is just equally oily. I think that's too bad considering that I set this side and this is the foundation without anything at all, just pure product. Pushing 10 hours, I think that's the most I've ever had a foundation on for. And I, in that space of time, I would have blocked. I've not blocked today at all, so this is just fresh as I've been out, I've eaten a burger, I've done normal stuff, and this is what it looks like. They did um, guarantee 12 hours of wear. Now they didn't say anything about oil control. They said natural matte finish. Now, even though I am oily, the coverage hasn't actually faded a significant amount. So, you know, take that how you will, but I'm just gonna show you for demonstration purposes what it looks like with me putting some sheer blotting powder on. I've just got the ColourPop No Filter Press the Sheer Powder. So I'm just gonna, I've got that in dark. So I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks like blotted and the marks on my nose are just from my sunnies that I've had on today so that is inescapable but I pretty much I've blot usually I do have my I use my matte blotting powder most of the time with my compact and I just blot as the oil appears I reckon this could probably go for another hour or two just as is blotted so verdict is still a year for me I like it my usual working day I'd wear it for just over eight hours and just wash my face when I get home. I think the powder is pretty much safe this one. So it's still a yay from me. So I'm gonna go wash my face now. I wanna wash my face. <laughs> okay, bye guys. So this foundation is 59 Australian dollars. No, it's not 57. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're Yeah, what? I'm filming quickly. You can have brands where we've seen that. I don't know why my voice is doing this. We've, my voice has gone really weird and funny and nasally. I don't know why, but have you tried the Born to, Born to Run? All right, thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment below what is your opinion on the Too Faced, on Too Faced expanding their shade ranges. I love to chat, love to continue the discussion. Have you tried the Born This Way collection? Are you loving it? Are you giving it a miss? I'd really love to continue the discussion in the comments down below. Consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss a video. And I can't wait to see you back here again. Thanks so much guys. Click here to catch my last video. Click here to also subscribe and click here for more from Lou's Beauty Closet. Until next time guys.